And I feel like once I have the tier five of this on every single wizard, I will, I will, I will be old. I will have white hair. I will, I will look like this. Hey guys, what is up? Awesome to sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to another incredible best realm video. Today's video is about probably the, the most underrated part of this update by far. I know everyone's talking about the new dungeon, everyone's talking about the new gear. Everyone's probably even talking about the Daybreaker and Nightbringer spells. Those are all great, but the whole concept that, 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 that we're really, really not looking at is spell writing. I think spell writing has the ability to change the face of this game for a really, really long time. So today, not only am I just going to explain this update from Test Realm, from what I understand of it, I'm also going to give my feedback on why I think it's good, and from my experience, how I think it could be improved. If you don't know what the hell spell writing is, this is the video for you. So you actually, from what I've found, because I can't find anybody who just teaches spell writing, it's not like monstrology, it's not like photomancy, it's not one of those things where you just go to an NPC and they like teach you about it. It literally just unlocks in your deck. I, and they're gonna roll this out to every school, but right now they're only doing it with Daybreaker and Nightbreaker. The idea behind these is that you can essentially just click on these spells and you can start unlocking tiers of spells. Now this is really, really interesting, not just because of the fact that through spell writing, we're already gonna get two new spells that any school can unlock after they're eligible to do it. What they're probably gonna do is create a way for like, you, you see how this just goes from tier one to tier two, to tier three, to, well, it, this is very linear, right? What they're probably gonna roll out is somewhere maybe around level three. There's two different options and you get to choose which direction you go. So essentially you can start customizing spells as you upgrade them. What that could do is basically create a situation where you can alter the pip cost of spells you've always used, maybe add secondary effects to spells you've always used, add something, you know, add drawbacks, add, add, add risks. You could basically change the face of any spell that they use this on. What I'm really excited about is let's say like every two months they do a small little update. It's not really, I'm, I assume it's not really hard for them just to add more spells to spell writing. So essentially what it could lead to is us getting new spells all the time. There's certain spells that I feel like this could be very interesting to look at. And one thing that I'm really excited about is to see how they use spell writing when it comes to lore spells. For example, like Hammer of Thor, could they maybe make this, you know, spell writing, maybe they can put Hammer of Thor and maybe buff it in damage, or maybe it can remove two debuffs, or maybe it can have another effect, or maybe it can have more accuracy. Like, literally, that's just one spell that they could work on. Calypso, maybe they can raise the pip cost of it and add damage to it. Maybe with Catch of the Day, instead of removing two positives, it can become an enfeeble. Basically, what, what I'm saying is that for every single school, every single spell, everything is fair game when it comes to spell writing. So for that reason alone, this is a really, really exciting update. Every single spell that you've ever learned in this game could be changed for the better or for worse, and you're in control of it. So spell writing, to say the least, is probably going to be one of the most game-changing mechanics ever, but let's look at how it works at face value. Right now in Test Realm, we only have two spell writing things. Basically, it's just Daybreaker and Nightbringer. So if you look at these, they follow the same pattern in that they basically have a slight upgrade every time you use it. The first tier, it's literally you just get the spell. The second, I assume there's no other way to get the spell. So this is going to be a new way to learn spells you can't get anywhere else as well. So that's extremely exciting in my opinion. You can basically earn the right, I guess, to use it more than once a match. So you can make it, you know, two uses. You can get it up to three uses. You can reduce the pip cost of it. And you can make it so that it's reshuffleable, unlike all the previous ones. And in all honesty, guys, this is a really, really good thing for the game. Now, I'm not going to say what I feel about specifically Nightbringer and Daybreaker, because I just haven't seen it used in PvP yet, obviously. But it's safe to say that the very last version of these spells are going to be very hard to get. It takes 35 Nightbringer, I guess, you know, spellaments, that's what they call them, alone, just to earn the spell. And I can guarantee you it's not going to be 35 to go from 1 to 2. It's going to be more. So in all honesty, it's going to take a very long time for somebody to actually earn the right to use Nightbringer three times at a two-pip at, at two cost, uh, you know, gain. 
end at a reshuffleable way. Like, you know, like, it, it's gonna take a really long time for someone to reach this tier. Not to mention, like, the bosses that drop these are very, very hard to farm, and you're not guaranteed to get a Nightbringer or a Daybreaker. I streamed for five hours and went through the entirety of the catacombs and only got one of each, and you know what? I know that seems like a really rough drop rate, but I like that. I like that. For the, for the first time ever, I feel like there's something I can grind for, and I feel like once I have the tier 5 of this on every single wizard, I will, I will, I will be old. I will have white hair. I will, I will look like this. So it's really, really exciting stuff for sure. Now, in terms of how do you get spellaments, like, that's what's really, really, that's what's going to determine how good this is. So the thing that I like about it is how customizable it is. And I really, really like that in the future, they are probably going to roll this out to a ton of spells. The thing that I don't like at the moment is kind of the fact that I really don't know how this is going to work. They mentioned that spellments are going to be dropped in packs. So, you know, in some ways, I guess you could call it pay to win. But they also mentioned that it could be boss drops, which I've seen. And they also said in other ways. So I'm wondering exactly how they're going to do it. I have a few suggestions so that we can make this something that is very grind worthy but you know it can also be something that's kind of inclusive you know i think a hundred percent this should be like craftable but it should be very very hard to craft like i'm talking like it should require maybe some amber amber dust merle's whisker sunstone that kind of thing you know it should be on the level of spells and, and and it should be like that because obviously in some ways you are learning new spells right so i definitely think there should be like some kind of craft craftable alternative that's again very hard meaning that if you farm the bosses for these it should be about an equal amount of time that it would take to craft it right i also think they should tie it into fishing somehow i, I definitely think fishing like, you know, that, that costs energy, you know what I'm saying? In energy, you can buy it with crowns. So you could literally make it so that there's an alternative way for you to have an incentive to fish that goes beyond just code wands and just rare fish. And, you know, right now there's no real reason to fish. So I think adding it to fishing would be really, really awesome. Maybe that's already something that's on their radar. I don't know. But that's another way that I feel like spellments could really, really change the game. Finally, I think spellments should be dropped almost guaranteed by certain seeds that are not reseedable. What do I mean by this? Right now, there's a lot of seeds that reseed, meaning like if you basically harvest them at Elder, you will get that seed again. So basically, once you have that seed, unless you delete it or trash it or feed it to a pet or something like that, you're guaranteed to have that seed, right? I think what they should do is have it so that there, like, there are seeds, you know, that don't reseed, even crown seeds, right? I think those should have spellaments dropped at Elder or something, but it should be guaranteed. Meaning, if you get the seed, you're guaranteed one spellament, basically. So, I mean, technically, it would take a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of gardening, all of that, but you'd be guaranteed some spellaments so that you can, you know, work towards this. And what's really, really exciting about the way spellaments work is that for every spell that you can upgrade, there's a different spellament. So they're essentially, the more spells they add, the more types of spellaments there could be. So you could basically have every different type of seed drop, every different type of spellament, and every different type of place you fish to have different types of spellaments, and also, you know, every different boss that you farm to have different ones as well. So this is going to add a variety to the game that we've never seen, but I think the only way you can nail this is to make it so that it's not just packs and really hard bosses. So yeah, overall, I think Nightbringer and Daybreaker are really exciting. I, I like, the first thing I'm going to do when these drop the Live Realm is farm for Daybreaker and Nightbringer spell events, and I hope I see you guys there. So drop a sub, turn on notifications, and we can all do it together. Now, what I want to hear from you guys is what spells you think they should should, you know, put into the system. But yeah, guys, I hope this, like, you know, made it clear what, you know, spell writing is. It's just a way to customize spells and a way to grind to earn spells you've never seen before. This is really, really awesome. Whoever thought of this idea, like, they deserve, they deserve a cookie. That is all I'm gonna say. I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to make so many videos about these. Uh, it, it's, the strategies are gonna be endless, and I can't wait. Tons of links in the description if you guys want to support the content. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed and leave a sub. If you're new, the links in the description include my Twitter, my Twitch, my Discord, my Instagram, and my Patreon. If you want to get more involved in the community or if you want to support the content monthly through Patreon. So thank you for everyone who does that. I love each and every one of you, my bands. As always, if somebody is not told you're awesome today, they do doing something wrong. So stay awesome, brother. Stay hype, my bands, as well. I'm hype about this. And yeah, you'll...